All right, dude. All right. Ah, good morning. So as we arrive into the space together, let's just take a couple deep breaths to um, just sort of connect our energy through the etheric internet. Let's take a full breath in, allowing the crown of the head to rise up. And as you exhale, feeling the pelvis and the legs on the mat or the floor or the cushion, let that full breath out. So this next hour will be just a little um, self-care massage, a little restorative yoga. And we're gonna start by getting our hands ready to massage. So we're gonna start by placing our thumb in the center of the hand and just moving, you can have it just in front of you. I'm just having it up here to show you. Moving the thumb in a small circle from the center, coming out towards the edges of the hand and then rolling it back in towards the center. And just take a couple rounds. So we're gonna focus on the heart today and the heart center and what we, um, what we create with the hands is coming straight out of the heart, right? The arms literally come straight out of the center of the heart, the energetic center of the heart. Go ahead and Go one more round. And then the next time you bring your thumb to the center, we're just gonna gently press in the center and take another deep breath in, deep breath out. And then we're gonna use the thumb and the index finger and we're gonna press about four points on each finger. So we're gonna start right at the first knuckle closest to the palm, press right on the other side of the knuckle and then walk the finger up to press in the, just below the middle knuckle. And then walk up the uh, second part of the thumb and then right around pressing around the sides of the nail bed. And we're gonna do that on each finger. So starting at the knuckle of the palm, I'm just pressing in, it doesn't matter which side, pressing on the other side, just below the knuckle jumping over the knuckle, pressing just once really, it'll fit in there between the two knuckles. And then jumping over that second knuckle, coming to the sides of the nail bed. We're gonna do that on each finger. So just go ahead and however you can access it. Sometimes I bend my fingers, so I'm using just the, just whatever you can find pressure. And then keep going. You might start to notice just the sense of aliveness in the fingers as you finish them compared to the ones you haven't started yet. When we get to the pinky, we're gonna then bring our fingers in back to the area of the thumb where between the index finger and the thumb. If you press in and down towards the center of the palm, so I'm pressing on both sides, and there's a pain point there, large intestine point. We're just gonna press in there. Take a couple full breaths here. So just full breath in, keep pressing, full breath out. And then we're gonna take those same fingers to the sides of the wrist and just press on the sides of the wrist. All right, and then just give your lower arm a squeeze, your upper arm a squeeze, come up into the shoulder. And then we're gonna come to the other side. So starting with the, and just notice the difference between the two hands, just that small amount of of work there. And then starting in the center of the palm, making a circle all the way to the edges. And then coming back to the center just a couple times, just getting in there, connecting to it. And that's the edge. And then we're going to 
Roll through one more and back to the center. And then just taking a couple of breaths there, pressing into the center of the palm. And then opening up the fingers, starting with the thumbs on the side of the digit. Getting in there to press a couple times between each metatarsal if you can, jumping over the knuckles. And then pressing in, ending with pressing around the nail bed. Just keep going, keep going. So with each of these classes, I like to just draw a card to set the tone, see what the universe has for us. And this morning, I drew the first card out of the deck, which is the mother, the great mother, the feminine, the source. So as you continue to go ahead and just give your a little compression to each of your fingers, I'm gonna read for you. We begin our archetypal story with the mother's love. Through her sensual, fertile, and life-giving energy, all creation takes form. Regardless of our birth story, each of our hearts beat for the first time in the warm womb of the mother, where she offered resources from the body for building of our own. Yet the tale is not so simple as the mother, especially the earthly plane contains both light and dark aspects of the feminine. With the best of the intentions, the mother wraps her loving arms around her creatures and begins to grip what she's meant to set free. The mother both nurtures and prohibits growth. She gives yet clings, she creates yet restricts. Amid this complex energy, the mother holds the key to the eternal challenge of love. And this is such a beautiful sentiment to our practice this morning. We're gonna come into this pain point here, finding that part between the first finger and the thumb, pressing down towards the center. So this morning, we're gonna work with this own aspect of giving and yet clinging, right? Because we have these hands and we offer, we make our offering with our hands and yet we also cling with our hands. And a lot of that comes back to our heart. What are we ready to let go of? What are we really trying to find? What do we wanna bring in? And that's all with the hands. So just go ahead and open and close the hands a little bit. And then we're gonna come to tap on the, the sternum. So I can sit up a little bit. You can use your fingers to tap. And we're just gonna connect now the heart center this place where we bring in, connect our connections to source and distill this information. We're just right on the sternum here, tapping gently on the bone. And then we're gonna start to come out towards, it doesn't matter which side you start in, right underneath the collarbone and just tap out from the sternum to the collarbone. And when we talk about the hands and what's coming from the heart, um, the left side tends to be the side we receive things with and the right hand side to be the side that we offer things with. So you can just think if you have more tension on one side or the other, or if there's any pain body on one side or the other, if there's any blocks to what you're allowing yourself to give or what you're allowing yourself to receive from the heart. And come back to the center, tap on the sternum, and then take it over to the other side, just right under the collarbone. A couple more times. And then go ahead and this be your last time through. And we'll come back to the center, to the sternum, and just tap a little up and down. And then we're gonna bring it all the way up 
change hands and go just tapping along the top of the shoulders, on the sides of the neck. So I'm just have my hands pretty loose, just tapping like a hard rain, a hail, not a little some gentle raindrops, but a little storminess. And then we're gonna change to the other shoulder, back to the center, change hands. Couple more times through. If you have a super tight spot like I do this morning, you can stay there and really just oh, ask it. If it's ready to let go. Maybe it's clinging, there's some tightness clinging to something, and then come back to the center. And then we're just gonna brush out all that stuff we are tapping loose. You can brush out the tops of the shoulders, the tops of the arms. Shake the hands out, make sure you do both sides. And then we're gonna bring things in. So it doesn't matter what hand you start with on the inside of the arm, sweeping up back into the heart. And then the other side. Now, the neck, the tension of the neck tends to be a lot when we're working around this area. We might find that we have a lot of tension here. So we're gonna do two little neck releases. The first one is to make like a turtle. If you think of a turtle, um, a turtle head, it brings its chin kind of down and in. So we open up the back. So you can think about just allowing your chin, like you're tucking your throat almost back and bringing your chin down to the throat. A little turtle head, you might feel that all the way down your spine. See if you can take a full breath in, full breath out, and then just allow the head to come back to neutral, maybe looking up just the tiniest little bit. We're gonna do that two more times. So it's a little, it's a, it's a strange movement. It's not something we usually do to kind of tuck ourselves in. So if you're drawing the throat back and bringing the chin almost down into the throat but you probably feel it. So just move with your own body, what your own body is allowing you and then bring it back to neutral. Look up just a little bit and then one more little turtle. And then the second one, or bring it back to neutral first, look up. And the second one is to look like a crane. So to move like a crane. So think about opening the chin out, bringing the chin away from the body. And just think about, and if, it, if the movement, what, crane, turtle, doesn't make sense. Just think about that animal. Just try to embody the animal. If a crane that has that long neck, like how is it moving its neck? It's sort of moving it up and forward and then bring it back to neutral. And go ahead and try it one more time. It's a little bit the opposite of the turtle here. Rather than tucking, really opening it up. Bring it back to neutral and then one more time. And then back to neutral. The last little massage we're gonna do for now is just with the crown of the head, bringing our soft raindrops to the crown of the head. And then bring them down the sides of the ears. I have no idea. This might sound weird with the headphones. You tell me later. And then just bring it back down. So as if you're bringing the raindrops down the head. Down the front of the head, down the sides of the head, down the back of the head. All right. We're going to come into a little yin position to now open up this heart. So find yourself a towel or a block. If you have a towel, you can fold it about the size of a yoga block. We're gonna bring, we're gonna set the block or the towel folded on the mat and lay down on it. It's gonna be just about behind the shoulder blades. So 
generally on women, there's a, if you're wearing a bra, it's about the middle of the back. So it's as if it's right above that area. We want the head to be supported on the mat. So you can lay the block down and then wiggle worm yourself in now, and then lay back. Now, we want the head supported. So if the head isn't coming all the way to the mat, we wanna bring a pillow or something underneath the head. We do not wanna leave that head floating. We're going for is opening the heart center, relaxing the head. So now we have this open throat, this open heartedness. We can let the arms come to either side. You can keep the knees bent. You could bring the knees together and the feet wide, wider apart and then you have a little tripod or you can extend the legs long. Now we're gonna be here. This is gonna be our first um, really restorative posture. So we're gonna be here a little while. So you wanna make sure you're comfortable. So once you feel comfortable, lying down, just check and see if you can make yourself even more comfortable. So maybe you can tuck the shoulder blades down and under you and get that sense that they're flattening out on the block or the towel. Maybe you wanna take a few times opening and closing the fingers, allowing the palms to shine towards the ceiling. Or if that just feels too open, too like, it just feels like too much. You can also just bring the palms to the belly. Just make sure that the arms are somewhere supported on the floor and not floating. So if your hands in the belly, the elbows are on the floor, your hands are open, the forearms are on the floor. And then before we close off the eyes, we're just gonna take the eyes as if we're trying to look behind us. So looking up. And then taking the eyes from in a circle clockwise. So then looking towards the right and then down over to the left and go ahead and just make a couple circles there with the eyeballs. And then the next time your eyeballs are looking up overhead, pause and just change the direction of the circle. So looking towards the left and then down and then over to the right, take a couple more. And then the next time you're looking up, allow the eyes to close, allow yourself to settle in into this most comfortable position. And then using the breath. So we're connecting today to the heart center, to the sense of source that gives birth to all things and all things we create coming from the sense of source in our own beautiful heart. And as you inhale, you might notice the breath increasing that space and pressure around the area of the heart. As you exhale, releasing into the support of the block or the towel. And then just settling in, staying with it. While you're in this pose, if you start to find that you have areas that feel a little stiff or condensed, see if you can imagine breathing into that space. So as if you're directing your breath into that place of condensed tissue. And you might start to notice that you have tension in the front of the chest, underneath the collarbones, or around that area we were massaging. So I invite you just to keep playing with your own breath, directing it to wherever you might feel tension, and then noticing what happens as you exhale.
So when we talk about the mother and the great mother, the source, the mother earth, there's a lot of science now showing that there's an underlying heartbeat that we all share. It's the same resonance as the earth. So even though all of our heartbeats are have a have a heartbeat uh, that seems different from one another, there's sort of a secondary wave when they map it out that we're all feeding to the same resonance of the earth. So in this mother archetype, if we just look at nature. Nature is a really good um, example of the, the balance and the benevolence of this motherly, the, the grace, the source. And that we have this sense that we are all connected to this benevolence and the source of life. So that in whatever we choose to give, whatever we are allowing to come from our heart is then an expression of this divine feminine energy. It comes in so many forms. We're a little over halfway through. So if you find another spot that feels a little tense, see if you can then direct your breath to that area. And if your hands are alongside the body, I invite you to take one more breath there. And then we're all gonna bring our hands down to the belly. And see if you can find a place between the hip creases and the belly. So that your hands are near the area of the ovaries and the womb. And we're just gonna send this love, and grace and honor, connection, letting the hands warm this area, the womb, our other source of creative energy, not just for making children, but all the things we wanna create and give birth to. Just allowing our hands here to warm this area. We breathe in and start to connect the womb and the heart. So connecting this area underneath our hands by warming it and then allowing that to connect to the area of the heart. The block is lifted the heart. Let's see if we can connect this sense of grace and source within ourselves with the grace and source of the Great Mother.
Okay, a couple more big deep breaths here. So again, just directing your breath to this area underneath your hand. And allowing that sense to connect to this area of discernment in the heart. One more big deep full breath in. Full breath out. You can take the hands up overhead, bend the knees, bring the feet back on the mat and just take a big stretch here. And we're gonna roll off the block. So don't try to sit up. We're just gonna roll to one side. See if we can remove the toe or the block from underneath us and then roll back onto the back. We're gonna move into fetal pose. So connecting to the lower back as we rock and roll our hips side to side. You can hug your knees towards your chest. And then from here, we're gonna open up the knees, reach between the legs, take the palms facing the ceiling, and then set the ankles of the lower legs, the palms. So we're in a quite a restorative happy baby. I'll show you from this angle. I'm just taking the palms, palms side towards the ceiling, and then resting the ankles and the legs. And just allowing your sense of Openness in the back. Openness in the heart. Connection to the pelvis. Reproductive area. Another couple more breaths here. And then go ahead and let the feet come back onto the mat. You can find your bridge prep here with the knees together, feet wide apart. Or you can extend the legs long. You can put a bolster under your leg. You're going to stay on your back. I'm sitting up just so you can see. We're going to go back to this area of self-massage. You're on your back. We're going to open up the hand, find our sternum. And now looking for the, you know, there's, there's mountains and valleys of the ribs. So just feeling a little bit around the sternum to feel these mountains and valleys. And the mountains are the bones of the rib and the valleys are the space of muscle between. So just starting with just moving the hands just very gently. Fingers are wide open so you can kind of find those mountains and valleys pretty close to the sternum and then go ahead and switch sides. So it's coming out from the center, finding the mountains and valleys, the ribs. And then we're gonna start to go a little deeper. So coming to the highest place closest to the neck and throat where you can feel that mountain and valley, digging your fingers into those valleys. And then just gently starting to move through the valley towards the shoulder. So taking your fingers and just in the muscle between the ribs, just gently inchworming your way through. So it doesn't have to be a specific technique. We're just bringing our fingertips to that muscle between each of the rib bones, walking it towards the shoulder finding that place where the collarbone, shoulder bone all come together, pausing there, just pressing in with the fingers, maybe making little circles. And then bring ourselves back down towards the sternum. We're gonna take the hand down just a little bit, maybe down one or two mountains up and over. So down towards the pelvic, um, side of the body, moving towards the belly button, and then same thing, just walking the fingertips through the valleys 
towards the shoulder. No hurry, just moving very gently. Find in that area when we get up to where the collarbone and the shoulder and the ribs all come together, you can pause, take the fingertips in circles. And then depending how, um, how far you've gotten, we're gonna walk back to the sternum and then see if we can go down one more. So um, the breast tissue starts to get in the way. So you can either go up or down depending on how your body's built. But again, we're just gonna take it one more time. And torm our way through the valley, back into the shoulder and then the circles. And then go ahead and just, you finish, sweep out that side. So just sweeping out, you can take it all the way down the arm if you want. Sometimes you might feel like stuff comes out that we need to just wipe off. And we'll go back to the other side, the first side we started with and see if you can walk your fingers up to that highest point in the sternum. The highest point in the sternum where you start to feel the collarbone a little bit. Find your valleys. And just start by entworming your way towards the, towards the corner, towards the shoulder, towards the bottom of the collarbone. Take your time to get there. And then when you sort of hit the next mountain, just pause, take your fingers in little circles. You might find that you want to breathe a little deeper here, that there you need to exhale and really let something out. All sorts of things can be stored in this area around the heart, protecting the heart. Go ahead and walk your hands back down. And then hop over a mountain, move the hand down the direction of the belly button towards the pelvis. And then again, find the valleys, the fingers. Ooh, could feel tender. You have control of how deep you're going, so no need to go too deep. Once again, we're just gonna gently walk the fingertips out. And then you get to that area where the Everything kind of comes together in convergence. Just pause, roll the fingers in little circles. And turn your way back to the sternum. And then we'll try one more. I'm going down one more time. into that corner, rolling it out each direction, little circles, and then walking it back ever so gently. And when we arrive back at the sternum, just gently sweeping. And then we're gonna bring one hand just below the belly button and one hand to the heart center. Take a few deep breaths in, see if you can feel this connection again between the area of the, the sacral chakra, the womb and the heart. One more breath here. And we're gonna bring our attention to the area between these two energetic centers, which is the solar plexus. So bring your hand down into the belly. You can bring your hands to the belly button, your own umbilicus here, the 
place that you connected to your own mother and take a couple deep breaths here. And then we're gonna make some circles clockwise. So just moving really slow. It might appear at, um, opposite direction on the camera. But we're moving from the right side up across underneath the ribs over to the left and then down. And we're just making big circles, not really pressing too hard, just energetic circles. And see if we can connect this place of the heart and the womb. Go ahead and just take a couple more. And then come back to the center, back to the belly button. Make a little triangle with, the, with your thumbs and index fingers around the belly button, or you can tuck your thumbs in and make a little heart. And I'm gonna invite you to set an intention. We talk about clinging, clinging and letting go. And this sense of giving and receiving. And I invite you to draw in, invite the highest aspects of your inner self to bring you some answers here. Connecting to this area where all the answers lay around the belly button and just invite your highest aspects of the inner self to bring you whatever message you need to hear right now. Could be if you wanna ask a question, What am I ready to receive? Or is there something that I don't realize I'm clinging to? Or you could just ask your higher self to give you whatever message you need to hear right now. And breathing down into the belly, really connecting to these lower three chakras. Feeling that sense of completeness and wholeness into the heart. Another few breaths here. And then we're gonna to start to enliven this whole area, this whole energetic area. So coming back into our bridge prep, if your legs are extended with the feet coming towards the pelvis, knees pointed towards the forehead, we're gonna move the pelvis with the breath. So sometimes this is just tilting the pelvis with the breath. Um, sometimes we can do it in Pilates. Um, when you take a full breath in, you might notice the curve in your lower back is a little bit back, bigger and the pelvis kind of tilts towards the feet. And as you exhale full breath out, you might notice that the belly button sinks to the spine and the pelvis tilts towards the face. And if you're not noticing it, put the hand behind the lower back and then notice what happens as you exhale and press the air out from the belly button that it pushes the spine into the hand. And then as you inhale, you get a bigger space there behind the hand as the pelvis tilts towards the face. So we just wanna notice that. Then take the hand out. You can keep the hands on the belly or you could bring them to the side of the body. I'm just gonna bring them to the side so you can see a little bit better. So we're just gonna make that movement just a little bigger. Go ahead and exhale all the air out of the body. Let yourself just drop deeply into that area of the belly. And then on your inhale, let the pelvis tilt towards the feet. Let that natural curve in the back get a little bit bigger. And then as you exhale, let the belly button drop towards the spine, tilt the pelvis towards the face. So it's a very small movement, inhaling, pelvis tilts towards the feet. As you exhale, pelvis tilts towards the face. 
it's a very small movement, but it's very profound for both lengthening and strengthening the spaces between the vertebra. You're just carrying on very gently, exhaling, feeling the belly button drop towards the spine, spine towards the mat, inhaling, noticing the natural curve in the back as you tilt the pelvis towards the feet. Go ahead and just keep going on your own breath here. See if we can find a few more. If we can find three more. And on this last one, go ahead and release the technique. If you've taken the hands away from the belly, go ahead and bring them back to the belly or the lower rib cage, anywhere between the hip creases and the rib cage. And just take a couple breaths there, release the technique, and just notice whatever you notice happening in the body. Maybe you sense a color, a sound, maybe there's emotions coming up. Just see if you can tune into whatever that is and just allow it to be seen, to be felt, to be heard. Another full breath in and on your exhale, bring both knees towards the chest, back in our fetal pose, and lace the hands around the front of the knees, rock and roll side to side. And then we're gonna roll up. So we're gonna bring the fingertips to the back of the thighs and start rolling from the pelvis to the shoulders, not in a hurry to get anywhere, just bringing ourselves a little bit more of a back massage. If you're skipping a place on the spine, see if you can stay there and round it. If there's a flat spot that's sort of being skipped over. And then eventually we're gonna roll ourselves up into seated. Once you're seated, we're just gonna flip ourselves over and come into all fours, tabletop. Knees under hips. Wrists under shoulders, starting with some hip circles. So we're on the back a little oh, for a while. So we're gonna just move the spine in a few directions here. So take your hip circle in the other direction. And then when you feel like you've found evenness on both sides, we're gonna find our way back to the center. Brighten the fingers as if the palm is the sun and the rays are the finger or the fingers are the rays of the sun. The rays of the sun are the fingers. And again here, just connecting the sense of the hands don't, and letting your awareness come up the arms back to the heart. We're gonna take a full breath in. As you exhale, untuck the toes, round the back, coming into cat pose. So you're really pressing in and opening that area in the back of the heart. On your inhale, letting the heart drop towards the mat, coming into cow pose. Bring the shoulder blades together, looking forward. And then just moving between cat and cow ever so gently, rounding the back on the exhale, letting the head drop, finding cat. On the inhale, looking forward, drawing the shoulder blades together, finding cow. Go ahead and find a couple more on your own. If you can find one more. And then we're gonna just walk ourselves back into hero's pose. Sit on the heels for a moment. If you have a block, we're gonna bring blocks in front of us, like enough to lift the arms. If you have a towel, 
just roll your towel up and you can have a towel roll right here. We're gonna come into child's pose. So while you're rolling your towel and making adjustments, I'll just show you. We'll bring the big toes together, the knees wide apart, feet will be untucked. We'll press ourselves back to see if we can bring the buttocks towards the heels. Now, if that isn't available and the knees don't wanna close all the way, bring a pillow or something behind you so you can sit back on the pillow. Show you what the looks like. And then we're gonna use the blocks or the rolled up towel or you know, the towel roll is not big enough you can use a pillow, any sort of thing that they're even on both sides. So if, the, if sitting on the heels doesn't work, just bring a pillow behind you. So you're, you're supporting the pelvis. And then we're coming into a child's pose. We're bringing the wrist or the forearms up on the blocks or the rolled towel. And now we're then bringing the head to the mat. If your head doesn't come to the mat, bring something underneath the head so you can relax. So now we're in a similar position with the heart as when the block was behind the heart. And now we're just allowing the shoulder blades to come together, allowing the heart to drop towards the mat. Finding child's pose and inviting integration. So I don't know how it's been for you this past year of coming out of the pandemic, but trying to integrate and figure out which way to move forward has been a big challenge for me personally. So I invite you to just find this sense in the body of moving forward and integrating with an open heart, with a heart that can both receive and give, with a heart that is not clean, but allowing whatever is to be what is. Allowing this heart to be opened And yet knowing that we also have our own protection. If the wrists or the forearms lifted in child's pose, you'll find that it can be a little bit more intense for bringing those shoulder blades together in the back, letting the heart sink towards the mat. So. Again, you have the power of directing your breath if you feel any tension in this pose. If you can direct your breath and release that tension with the exhale. And we're just gonna take a few more breaths here. So you can even play around with letting the breath get a little bit bigger as you continue to direct it towards wherever there's tension, releasing any tension on the exhale. Take another big, deep, full breath in, full breath out. And whether our hands or wrists, forearms are on the towel or the block, we're gonna go ahead and bend the elbows, bring the hands back underneath the shoulders. Open and close the fingers for a moment, roll out the wrists. And then when you feel ready, bring the palms to the mat. Press yourself up, find your tabletop. 
Once you're in tabletop, take any movement that feels good and juicy. It could be swaying the body. It could be cat and cow. It could be making hip circles. And then we'll cross the feet at the ankles, walk ourselves back. And we're just gonna take one more moment on the back. So flip yourself over, come back into your fetal pose, rock and roll side to side. Go ahead and bring the nose towards the knees, curl yourself up into a little ball. And then allow the whole body to expand on the mat. So you can take yourself into Shavasana pose or star pose, feet wide apart, arms open to the side. And here we're just gonna, again, integrate all of this stuff of life. As you inhale, maybe you can feel where the body is touching the floor, touching the earth, where you are supported by this mother earth. As you inhale, maybe you can feel the spaciousness around your own heart, the energy of the heart expanding out from the center. Lying here just like your own five-pointed star with the head as one point, the arms, the, head, the legs as the other four points. Allowing that heart light to grow a little bit brighter and shine out in all five directions. And then calling in on that benevolence and that grace of the mother, that energy of the mother. And remembering that that takes so many forms, so many different forms, whatever we create on this planet, whatever our offering is, it comes in so many different forms, but it's still the same energy of creation. Take another full breath in, and as you exhale, bring one hand to the lower belly, one hand to the heart. If you received a message today from your higher guidance, bring that into your awareness as we wake the body up. One hand to the belly, one hand to the heart, remembering what that message is that our higher guidance brought us today. And then releasing the hands, walking the feet together, hands up overhead, opening, closing the fingers, fisting, extending the toes, rolling out the wrists, rolling onto one side or the other, bend the knees, and then take a moment there on your side. And then press back up. Thank you for meeting in this space. And bring the hands together at the heart center, press the thumbs into the sternum, turn the chin towards the chest and just honor your own efforts to give yourself a little self care, to turn inward. And then lifting the head, bringing the thumbs to the third eye center between the eyebrows. May we all recognize the brightness of each other's light and know that we are all from the same source. Namaste. Thanks for meeting in this space.